Hello gardening friends, welcome to the Weekend Gardener. It's nice to be able to propagate some plants at home. Usually the house plants, the ivies, here's a peperomia right here, and um, you can grow them from other pots that you have, or it's a nice thing to give some away to your neighbor, you know, the little old lady down the street that could use a nice gift perfect for her. So uh, we take cuttings. This is a peperomia. This is an interesting little container Container I ran across and um, you stick the uh, cutting in there and then this allows you to hold it down and it'll root in no time at all. So it's easy enough to um, uh, root things. Um, you know, it's, it's good to have confidence. Some people don't know that they can do these things. It's very interesting and easy to do. This is vermiculite. This is one of the medians that you can root in. I take a pencil and poke a hole down there and then put a cutting in it. Let me get a quick cutting. I'll go ahead and take one from this begonia right here after all. And um, you take those little leaves off. You don't want to stick them down in the soil. This is a nice size cutting. One more set of leaves. And then we'll stick them down in there where we made that pencil hole. And so that's all you really need to do. Good potting soil, some vermiculite. I like to make a little greenhouse like this one. I've got my cutting in there, uh, three chopsticks. I'll pull up one of these plastic bags. You know, they're hard to find these days. And so uh, you make a little greenhouse out of it. When it gets really moist in there and the water is all over, then go ahead and let it breathe a little bit. Put a twist them on here. I've got a nice little homemade greenhouse. You can also root things in cups in the house very simply, putting them in a cup. And before you know it, you've got a nice root system. So it's really easy to make cuttings and to propagate your plants, find yourself a nice little one, grow it out a bit, get it sturdy, and then you're able to go out there and do some of these types of cuttings. Some folks will like to use this powder right here, it's called Rutone, and so uh, this may help you quite a bit. Well, those are some ideas on how to propagate your own plants. It's a good project for children too. For The Weekend Gardener, I'm John Dromgool. I'll see you next week.